Hey guys, welcome to our channel. It's Christine and Oreo here. Today we're going to be making two super easy summer treats that your dog will absolutely enjoy. Both treats are very easy to make and will take less than five minutes to prep. So let's get started. Let's start by looking at the ingredients that we'll be needing today. For the baked chicken strips, all you need is the chicken breast tenderloins. And for the fruity ice treats, we'll need strawberry, blueberries, banana, Greek yogurt, and coconut water. And now onto the equipment. For the baked chicken strips, all we need is oven and a baking tray. And for the fruity ice treats, a blender and a silicone ice mold. All right, so let's get started by defrosting the chicken. So here I just have a bag of chicken breast tenderloins that I got from the supermarket in the frozen section, and we can start by putting it into a tray or a Tupperware to defrost. Once the chicken strips are fully defrosted, we can put it onto a baking tray with baking paper underneath, and that is literally all the prep work you'll need for this treat. Preheat the oven at 150 degrees Celsius. Once the oven is fully heated, you can pop the chicken strips right into the oven. We'll bake for about 25 minutes on one side, flip it over and bake for another 10 minutes. So while we're waiting for the chicken strips to bake, we can start making the fruity ice treats. Now we can start by blending the fruits together. We have the banana, strawberries, yogurt, and coconut water. The amount of yogurt and coconut water you put in depends on the consistency you'd like for the mixture. The more yogurt you put in, the creamier it'll be. And for the coconut water, I just put in enough to cover the fruits and yogurt. Once you have all the ingredients in the blender, you can start blending. Once you're done blending, you can take out your silicone mold and put the mixture into the mold. I recommend using a silicone mold over a plastic ice tray because the silicone mold is a lot more flexible and makes it easier for you to take out the tree in one piece. Once you're done filling in the mold, you can put it aside first and we can start on the second flavor of the ice tree. So for my second flavor, I'm making a blueberry and strawberry combination. Once I have the fruits in the blender, I'll put in the yogurt and the coconut water as I did the first time and start blending again. And again, once the mixture is ready, I'll be pouring it into a silicone mold tray that I have ready on the side. Here you can see Oreo already trying to sneakily eat some of the mixture before it's even ready. So as you can see, dogs are going to love this treat. And the great thing is because of the ingredients that are in this treat, humans can actually enjoy it just the same. So once you're done filling your molds, you can put them into the freezer for around four to five hours. I tried taking them out at one to two hour mark, but they weren't completely frozen and melted very quickly. So if you want the shape to stay, I recommend freezing them for four to five hours at least.
Now that the fruity ice treats are in the freezer, we can come back to check on our chicken strips. And it's been 35 minutes, they're ready. You know they're ready when you see that beautiful caramel color on the surface. This baked chicken strips is honestly one of the best dog treats ever. We've been making this for Oreo for years. He has one every night when he comes back from his night walk. It's one of his favorite treats. And the great thing is that it's so easy to make, it's healthy, and it'll take up like pretty much three minutes of your time in a day. And now all there is left to do is just to wait for the chicken strips to cool down before we can give it to Oreo. Usually we wait about 15 minutes just to make sure that the chicken is completely cooled down and that Oreo doesn't burn himself. Now after a few hours, the fruity ice treats are also ready, so let's take it out of the mold and see what Oreo thinks about it. So it turns out Oreo likes the strawberry and banana combination more than the blueberry and strawberry. So I think we're going to stick with this combination from now onwards. And for you, you can decide based on what you know your dog loves. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, then don't forget to subscribe. We're going to have a lot more yummy dog treat recipes coming up. Bye!